If you surf the blogs, you may have come across the site called Stuff White People Like, a social satire parodying the taste of the Caucasian race. The blogger has now written a book with the same name, and Christian Lander is with us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. How'd you get the idea for the blog in the first place? Um, so a friend of mine, we're having an instant messenger conversation at work one day. Yeah, which is very, you know. Absolutely. Yeah, okay. And we were talking about the TV show The Wire. Okay. And we both love the show. My friend, Great show. My friend Miles, who's Filipino, said he didn't trust any white person right. who didn't watch the show. <laughs> and so, so you know, as conversations go, we then right. started talking about, well, well, what are they doing instead of watching The Wire? Right. And we came up with things like um, going to therapy, right. going to plays, <laughs> getting divorced. <laughs> and I said, all right, this is hilarious. It's right. time to start writing. Who's white? Who's white? Yes. Well, m me. You. You. Yeah, me. Um, well, a lot of people are white. Yeah. But this this book is sort of, when you read it, you realize it's going after a very specific group right. of white people. Specifically right. sort of upper middle class, left wing, mm. liberal elites. Mm. And well, mm. where that comes from for me is I grew up in Toronto, Canada. Ugh. You couldn't be any more white. Yeah. You're so white. Well, well, you're hopelessly white. Well, Toronto's one of the most multicultural cities on earth. Yeah, but you're what you well, see, but it's you come from a position of authority. Absolutely. Right. But what happened, where this came from for me was that the city had changed so much in my lifetime. When I was growing up, there right. were still a lot of working class people in Toronto. By the time I got to high school, property values had pushed them all out. Right. So the only white people left in Toronto were upper middle class white people. So when we start the title stuff white people like, sure. these are the only white people I know. Right, now uh, now the people who you write about, do they have a sense of humor about it? Yes, absolutely. They do. Generally the people that are being made fun of have the most sense of humor. Oh, very interesting. This. All right, so uh, has there been blowback on the blog? Yeah. Because you start this blog, there's a, it has a degree of controversy. Some people have a sense of humor about it, but you start a blog, you end up getting a giant advance from a book publisher. People on the internet would say, that's not fair. Oh yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, if people really, I was sort of generally liked when I had no ads on the site and I was right. just a regular guy writing. Yeah. And then I got a book deal and a lot mm. of people started There you started go. Here's some me. stuff white people like. Uh, they like Apple products. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they like the Apple products. You gotta have your Mac like water. <laughs> well, there is a difference here, though. This is important. Yes. There is a uh, classification of white people depending on the container you drink your water from. Right. And the bottled water, such as these two, right. are at the bottom level uh, because of the waste they create, the carbon exactly. footprint. You, gotta be tap. you move up about tap. to the Nalgene bottles, mm -hmm. but those things are now, you know, they, the, they the cause cancer. Thing. Of course they do. Then the metal water bottles, yeah. that's top of the heap. That's top of the heap. New York Times, that goes without saying. White wine. <laughs> <laughs> well, red wine's most acceptable, but this is, this is hilariously placed, yes. Yes, Wes Anderson movies. Yep. Coffee, I'm gonna tell you what, I, I did this just this morning. You can open the book any place yep. and it makes you laugh. Having gay friends. Yes, it's very yes. important. For white people to assemble a group of friends, right. it's like putting together a fantasy baseball roster. Right, you're trying to fill all of these holes. And so you want to have um, black friends, you want right. to have gay friends. And yes. ultimately, if you can have one friend from every ethnicity on earth, right. then you win and can be officially declared not racist. There you go, not racist. Sarah Silverman, dogs, marathons, the Manhattan, now Brooklyn too. Yep. Very, 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 very funny stuff. Christian Lander, thank you very much for being here. Thank you for having Congratulations. me. Congratulations. To read an excerpt from Stuff White People Like, go to our website, <laughs> at earlyshow.cbsnews.com.